show. We appreciate you guys being here. Um, should I put you on the spot now and ask you if you've all made your charitable uh, contributions before the end of the year, or do you How want much me to give? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> and a dollar amount. In fact, if you if you'd like, just put it right here. I'll make sure it goes where it needs to. In your to. name, right? If, if you'd like, just leave it. Make it make it out to cash. It's my middle name. Um, well, uh, let's just open it up, uh, kind of open ended here. So far, uh, what have you what have you heard so far tonight that? Um, piques your interest, or maybe anything surprise you so far? We've heard a lot about the trends nationally, locally. What, what are you thinking? I just, that number, I mean, I feel like I, I work with a lot of nonprofits on, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of as clients. Um, 13,000? 13,000. 13,000 no plus 13, in our region 000. alone. Yeah, yeah. because you think about sort of the traditional ones and 13,000, and then when she said the budget, I think she said 864 um, only have budgets over $100,000. That's, it blows my mind because, uh, yeah, there's there's a lot. We were talking about that, yeah. And, and they're increasing from what I've heard, heard, you know, getting ready for the show this week. They're, they're popping up more all the time. It's a lot to keep track of. I'm sorry, go What ahead. Mary said about 75% of the giving in St. Louis is from individuals. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. That's a lot of opportunity, and I think those givers, especially when we're talking about young givers, are giving getting more savvy about where they give. We heard a little bit about meeting quality standards, about measuring impact. I think they're, they're more savvy about that local impact. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And maybe more agnostic about, about geography. I'm, I'm really interested in the conversation about are they giving locally or is the internet make it so much easier to you know, build the wealth mm -hmm. somewhere else? Yeah, the, her term as far as like sector agnostic was fascinating. And the other term I think she used was investment. And I totally agree with that. I, I see it. I mean, she said, I'm like, that resonated with me. Yes, that I totally think of giving as investment, not necessarily for my returns, but for returns of the world. Like, mm -hmm. I want to give to something I know is going to provide a return to the betterment of a neighborhood, a people group, or whatever it's going to be, that it's going to do something. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would say, I would add to the, the term that at least I would think is, is kind of characteristic of our Gen Xers, um, is I wouldn't say cynical, but uh, skeptical. I was going to say that. You know, I didn't want to put so words the onus is on the nonprofits to tell their story, right? And Completely. to prove that they're making the impact that these savvy people, these skeptical people expect. I mean, as we were talking before, I mean, they, they don't communicate very well. See, and that's where I actually disagree with you. And maybe it's just because I'm looking at it from a different side. I think there's a lot of organizations in town who they'll send out and they'll say, for every dollar you're donating, 92 cents is going to feed this, this, and this. But you're or a PR say, of yeah, Right, products. no, and so maybe, and that's what I'm saying, looking at it from another side. I mean, but interestingly, as it relates to Gen Xers, is that I kind of feel sometimes actually overwhelmed about giving. I'm like, I feel like you get asked so much and I feel I'm at a stage as a young professional where I'm trying to build my own. I'm trying to buy a house. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get that. And it's like you are asked all the time. And so I think I have this kind of guilt of where do you give? You know, how many places do you give and how much, you know? So I would push back a little bit in the sense that, okay, I, when I look at envelopes, I go, trash. Right. But why aren't they actually telling their story in a better and in, in more interesting way, uh, a way that's compelling. I think people, especially Gen Xers or anybody really, want, they want to be compelled. So when I look at that, I go, I go, I want to give my money. Like, the, wouldn't you rather have, in any company, any nonprofit should be operating that way. But I don't see nonprofits doing that. So I'm sitting at my desk the other day and I get an email that says, we're giving all of our students books for the holidays from a local school. Click on this link, go to Amazon, it'll get sent right to the, right to the teacher. I clicked on the link, went to Amazon, sent a couple so it books, was easy. tweeted yes. about it. I believe in books. I believe in the organization. <laughs> it was really easy for me in five minutes. Literacy is good. And that's how I gave. I believe.